It's Saturday night. What Your does that Saturday mean? night starts right Whoa. here. Here yeah. we go. We are ready to go for the final show of the day. The We're day. on day six of our 18th birthday celebration. We've had a cracking day today. It's all about soft craft, soft it craft is. Saturday. That's Absolutely. why we've got you here. And it's all about cuddly teddy bears, cuddly isn't it? Teddy cuddly bears. animals, something to snuggle with. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. All of those, all these cuddly, nice, soft, and materials as well. Mm -hmm. Materials. Absolutely. Yeah. We've had a stonking showstopper, which we're going to be having a look at again. That's why we've got two launch day shows. Yeah. We're just kind of we've essentially done a launch day show over two shows. Yep. Yeah. So we've kind of had a look at all within first launch day. Yeah. And we're going to look at all over again. You've absolutely, as I said, loved that showstopper collection that we've got. You can get across on the website right now and shop ahead. But what we have got as well, maybe this is now the first show that you've been able mm -hmm. to see when it comes to our 18th birthday celebration. Because of that, right up until, well, next Sunday, okay. next Sunday when we'll have the wrap up with Ben and Leanne, we are giving you lots and lots of goodies to give away galore. I love a goodie. You love a goodie. Some, a nice freebie. A nice freebie. Yeah, why yeah. not? Different levels as well, depending oh, okay. on what you spend. And different freebies every day? Different freebies every Fantastic. day. Fantastic. Absolutely. I'll just need to go into my Euphigenia Doubtfire okay, dear good. bag. Please, please do. So we were dancing around our bags, we? were, we? Yeah. yeah, dancing mm -hmm. around our handbags. So when it comes to spending at Crafters Companion and Crafters TV, it all open, it doesn't mean it just has to be what we've got on here. Mm -hmm. It could be anything across on .co.uk, .com and .eu. Now, if you spend 10, so 10 pound, 10 dollars, 10 euros, yeah. you're going to get a free gift every single day, and it is different. Today's free gift, Becky, very oh, apt for I you. I love these. These are gorgeous, aren't they? And the fun. Yeah. Really, I love a really little fun. mini die. And I like the fact we've got quite a few different types of mini dies, but being able to get the sewing one, mm. obviously very apt for me. We'll this have to is keep gorgeous. that for you. We'll Absolutely. have to keep that for you. Well, that, that's why it's going to be popping in my pocket, because I it? haven't got it. No? No. Your pockets are going to be bulging by the I'm time just, that you I'm walk out of the studio. I'm just looking for a pocket. I haven't got a pocket. If it's Might that, just have to put it in my shoe. It's the pen. I know, I know. It's the Mermaid Dreams collection. Yeah, that's true. It's the Gemini 2. Yeah, it's, the it's fabric. big pockets. Yeah. Big pockets. It's big pocket, otherwise known as my boot, my car. Ah, good mm -hmm. one. I like that one. Yep. I like that one. Well, talking about pen, if you spend £50, $50, you're then going to get a brand new coloured mm -hmm. Crafter's Companion crystal pen. Ooh. So you do get this every single day throughout birthday, but the colour is different. OK. So today's, Becky, yes. I'm going to give that to you. Oh, is it already on the screen? It's already on the screen. Oh, look at that. It's not My as if goodness. we've not done two live shows already I know, today. I know, I know. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Isn't that nice? I like a bit of sparkle. Yes, yeah, nice. I have to say... I don't suppose you knew that about me. I, I like didn't. A bit of sparkle, but no. I mean that is gorgeous, isn't it? Love a nice sparkly pen. And all mm -hmm. that you need to do to get that is just spend fifty dollars, fifty pound. That's all. The guys Fantastic. and girls in the warehouse, they'll pop that into your basket, you into get your box. You get it in box. this nice box as well? Unfortunately not. Oh. No, that's a lovely little handmade box by one of the team members. I want to but see Liam. Could, but you could make it yourself, couldn't you? Of course you could. Yeah. Of course you could. Yeah. Why not? Mm -hmm. But that's not gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. That's not it. That is not it. Because we've had launch after launch after launch and we've got incredible goodies, as I've said, at the start of this show here. Do you get your very own chinchilla? No, you don't. Oh. Why would you want a chinchilla? Because they're really cute. They are cute. I have no idea where you've come from on that one. <laughs> as Nicola says, you never know what's going to come out of my mouth. No, you don't. No, you don't. I like to keep you all on your toes. I, I legit have no idea where <laughs> you could have plucked chinchilla from. Well, I, I don't know either. No. Um, now, no, you're not going to get chinchilla. Oh, OK. But if you spend over, because we couldn't post it. Right, oh, yeah, of course. Mm. Health know, and safety, no, wouldn't it's work. It's not even that, no. it's just stateside, anyway. That's true. Although delivery's been pretty <laughs> quick. <laughs> Actually, you probably get it quicker than it would need its next meal, to probably. be honest. Probably. Yeah, yeah. It's going, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've got two hours to go. <laughs> If you spend £100 or dollars, then what you're then going to get completely free is a brand new jute bag. This is a Crafter's Companion jute bag, branded, yeah. pink and black. Yeah, How which you could that? fit a chinchilla into. <laughs> Probably could. It could. It's just the right size for a chinchilla. It is. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a bit of um, Paris Hilton with a oh, dog. Oh, yeah, eh? very nice. Very Little chinchilla. Nice. Yeah, popping out sign, the bag. sign in your checks with uni crystal pen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, what's even better is let's just say that you do spend over £100 or $100, yeah. so of course you're going to get the jute bag, aren't you? But you're still going to get the pen, yeah. and you're still going to get the die set, because okay. you've still spent over 10 yeah. and 50 so you're still good. going to get all of that. Now, not only that, Thanks. you're still going to get double points on everything, so right from... Come back, come back, come back, come back. 
All the way from day one on Monday with Ben and Sarah is double points all the way up till the very end next Sunday. Mm -hmm. So not just what's on the website, not just what's on the show, whatever you're seeing, you're going to get your double points. But then you've also in with a chance of winning £300 dollars worth wow. of Crafters Companion goodies. That's impressive. Um, not essentially that you can spend on your Crafters Companion mm -hmm. goodies. Now, it's so diff it is difficult, I'm not going to lie. It's so difficult to be in with this chance. Yeah, because you've got to perform a song, you've got to write a song and a dance. You do, you have, to be, yeah. you have to be performing it's chinchilla. It's like X Factor, isn't it? It is, yeah. 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 No you, judges' houses no, or anything no, like no that. No, no boot camp or anything like we don't, that. We don't get to go to Sarah oh. on today's show. So all that you need to do to be in with the chance of being able to spend £300, $300 on Crafters Companion is just comment, and it has to be within the live shows, of okay. course. We are 24-7 now across on our YouTube, but when it comes to this, it has to be in the live shows. So now that we've got Becky here, we've had her all day, any sewing questions, anything you want to ask, anything you want to check, we did do a little... Uh, when I say q and it wasn't a q and we did do... What was the song of your birth month? here yeah comments went crazy within the last show so mm -hmm. we're going to do that again yeah anything so. like that as long as you've commented even if you say hi your name could at the end of this show be picked out and then therefore going to the disco ball that ben and Sa ben and leanne on the sunday may pick out your name very exciting very, very exciting good. so it could be any questions any comment anything fantastic as long as you're commenting away with susie in the socials mm -hmm. and then there you go that's Brilliant. it We'll announce uh, one lucky name within this show and whoever we pick will then go into that main draw okay. next Sunday. Fabulous. So there's lots going on, mm -hmm. lots going on on the website. But to do all that, you know where you need to go and have a look and where you need to shop. Do you need to shop on the website? You do indeed. Oh my goodness, how did I know that? From one sparkly lady at the side of me to another one on the screen, we've got a dazzling party. Sarah's there on our brand new sparkling website co.uk.com or .eu. That's where you're going to go. You're going to see some of the launches, and they say some of them, stock dependent from the past couple of days, but then you're still going to see the deals that we've got. We're still going to be having a look at some, well, there may still be a little bit of that advent calendar. It's not going to be long before December comes. Take advantage, double points. Whether it's foam pads, advent calendars, the brand new launches, you get your double points. And if you want another look when it comes to the free gifts for today, then there we go. We can see them just popping through there that you've then got, of course, that little Gemini mini die set. If you're spending over 10, if you're spending over 50, you're then going to get, of course, that silver crystal pen that's branded with Crafter's Companion. And over 100, you're then going to get that jute bag as well. So I know lots and lots of you have gone absolutely crazy for the free gifts i think so many have loved the fact that the crystal pen has been collectible with the different colors every single day now this is the last live show of today however tomorrow it may be sunday but ben is back and the boss is back as well. Sarah's going to be back tomorrow. We were going to continue the celebrations of the 18th birthday. But we are focusing on So and Saturday. We're going to be focusing on when it comes to our showstopper. If you've seen Wake Up Call this morning, I know it's Saturday, but for the next couple of weeks with the birthday celebrations, we are having Wake Up Call instead of Play Your Crafts Right, because there's so many deals and offers to be shown you, but Play Your Crafts Right will be back. When it comes to today, Wake Up Call, we, well, Becky didn't realise uh, until live in the show, when I was going through the showstopper, what I was showing, Becky was at the other side having like an absolute fit, being, <laughs> you don't get that, you don't get that. <laughs> Unbe slipped under the radar last night that Becky didn't realise that what we're going to show you is now included within the showstopper. Because so, it makes no sense. It makes no going. sense. She's still going. I'm sorry, it, no, it, 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 it baffles me. It I still baffles, don't get yeah. it. It baffles I, you. All I can say is, I think it's a mistake. Buy as many as you possibly can before they realise it's a mistake. That's what I would suggest. Yeah. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It makes no absolute sense. If Queen Becky says it makes no sense, it makes no sense. And I already recognise a number of these names from the shows earlier on saying, it makes no sense, that's why you've <laughs> grabbed it. So let's have a little quick look of all of you that are tuning in this evening, evening here in the UK. We are 10, pa 10 past six in the UK. I know we are afternoon stateside. And then of course, well, we are next day with uh, you guys across in Oz. So uh, let's, see, let's see if Sarah's still in. She was in in the last show, but we'll see if her name pops up. 
But as I did say, we've got Susie T on the social. We've still got Dean, who is producing. We've got uh, Charlotte, who is directing. And we've got James outside as well, that's given us a hand. So Susie is saying, all of you are raring to go. Rosalind's in from Maryland saying hello again. Kim Lusk is saying good afternoon from Texas. Watching the clips, which looks pretty cool like Ooh, right now. Oh, I didn't know there was an eclipse. In Texas. Ooh. Oh. That's where I'm going in January. Texas? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm jealous. I Are am, you? actually. Yeah, I'm going... I'm, I've got a friend who lives in Houston. Houston, yeah. Um, or a place called Katie, which I think is just in the um, outskirts of um, Houston. And I'm going to go and stay with her for um, a few days. Then we're going to go to Mexico for a few days. Um, I'm very much looking forward to it. Awesome. Can't wait. Can't wait to go shopping. If you go past the AT&T Stadium, can you please take a photo? Okay. Massive stadium. Will I go past that? I don't know. I don't know. If you're there, okay. you're bound to. Right. If not. I'll, I'll, I'll find out. Uh, can I also just say as well to Kate Fleming, I know I don't think you're on just yet, but if you are, thank you so much for that picture you sent me. This is like WWE geek, oh, I'm yeah. telling you. But Kate, Kate Fleming in Connecticut was on a train going past WWE's brand new headquarters. Uh -huh. And she took, a, she took a photo. Oh. She took a photo uh, for me and sent it to me. Does it just look like a photo of like that? No, it is actually like actually a freeze frame photo. I can actually see it with the WWE logo and that oh, at fantastic. the top. Fantastic. And that's what we love about you guys. You know, you know and you, you enjoy hearing what we love and what you see. You like to share it with us if you know that we love it and we enjoy it. So we do appreciate that. But we've got Kelly is in from Florida saying good afternoon. Handcrafted by Gaz is saying good evening, Becky, Craig, Team Social, Dean, Charlotte and my crafty friends. Tim C on YouTube is saying, I do enjoy watching the soft crafting. Not normally my craft, but I do enjoy uh, counted cross stitch. Oh, I like a bit of cross stitch. I like a bit of cross stitch. Yeah. I do as well. I, I only do it when I'm in the hospital. Oh. So only, yeah, uh huh. I don't have time to do it any other time. No, no, I know what you mean. It's my yeah, time passer in there. Sue Benson is saying, hello, Craig and Becky and all the crafty people out there from a crisp autumn day in Montana. Laurel's in saying afternoon from Shelby, North Carolina. Nefertiti saying, Becky, your, the pen matches, well, your top, your jacket. It does. It does. Yeah. That's mm. probably why you want to nick it. Mm. We've also got Christine's in, Evelyn's in from San Diego. Lynn Morton's in saying good evening to us. She is just up the road there in Newcastle. Barbara R, we've got S, Ludwig, Diana, we've got Patricia, Patty's in, Valerie's in as well. Mistress Day on YouTube saying good evening everyone, settling down for the show with me knitting. Well, congratulations, Mistress, because your name was popped out earlier on today, so you're in with that draw a week tomorrow when it comes to Ben and Leanne. So you might be one of the main lucky winners of that big uh, prize that you can then be spending at Crafters Companion. Melissa's in saying, my area, Becky, welcome. You might catch up for a cuppy. Oh, excellent. Pat's in saying the stuffed animals are so cute. Melissa's in saying, love these, makes me want to sew again. And Rennie's in from Hoxonville, Georgia. Every one of you are already in with the chance of winning that grand prize draw a week tomorrow. And you never know, your, main, your name might be popped out at the end of this show. So keep watching. But as we did say, it's launch day. We're going to be focusing on this in incredible showstopper this incredible showstopper that consists of these which might i add are 14.99 on their own or 24 dollars 99 give or take a cent or two that's each for these okay so in the showstopper you're going to be getting the rabbit and the teddy bear and this enables you to make a complete project you get everything to make a complete project and becky's going to be using the bunny rabbit in a moment just to show you how to make them and not the whole lot but of course just elements of it what you're also going to be getting is your templates for your elephant now what i would say is between wake up call and launch day the first launch day of the day becky showed you in a number of steps over the two shows how you can then start to make and construct one you're also going to get your dragon and you're also going to get the lion the lion was predominantly the one that becky was focusing on certainly within the last show these these are worth 9.99 on their own or 12 dollars 95 you're going to get all of those three look at your price already 69.95 or 88 dollars 75 your platinum is at 55.96 or 71 dollars 
but that's not where it ends. You're also then going to be getting your small snippy scissors. Now, mm -hmm. you know they're my absolute most favourite scissors. You're going to be getting them. You're also going to be getting your heat erasable pens as well. Now, not only that, you're also going to be getting your 10 pack of clips and then you're also going to be getting your teddy bear accessories 12 buttons six of the small eyes and three of the largest nose so that's going to enable you to then of course make a couple of them that's coming to you now essentially within this bundle here that little bundle in my hand here is worth 24 pound 35 dollars but when it comes to this price combined it works out that you're getting that bundle there for 10 pound 10 dollars so all of it the whole showstopper is everything that I've just showed you there. It gives you the ability to make the lion, the elephant and the dragon and then the bunny rabbit and also the teddy bear with all of these accessories here. $69.95 or for you guys stateside, $88.75, so $88.75. You've got your saving there of £24.96 or $36.84. But if you're platinum, you've guessed it, it comes down by 20%. You're going to get all of that for $55.96, $71. You're going to get your double points on top of that as well. You're going to get your Gemini mini die set as well. You're going to get your silver crystal pen as well. That's automatically going to be popped into your basket. And if you do add more items to take you over that £100, $100, we'll pop the jute bag in as well. But if you just go for this, you'll get the die set, you'll get the pen. But Becky, your reaction this morning and even all the way throughout the day, because these are what you can be making when it comes to the teddy bear and also when it comes to the bunny rabbit. Yeah. But having the accessories and having those templates for what you make when it came to wake up call and also launch day with the lion. Yeah. What you can make for this price here, as you said, it just does not make sense. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. It really doesn't because I thought this was going to be the showstopper with the templates, with the um, all the accessories and bits and pieces in there. I did not think it was going to include um, all of the other bits and pieces as well, um, like this, you know, well, you know the, the rabbit and the teddy bear, because like as um, Craig says, you know, these are, um, would you say 14.99 each? And, they, and these are brand new. 19.99. 19.99 each. These are, these are brand new. This is a brand new launch with these. These are a brand new launch as well. The fact that we're giving you two brand new launches in that bundle for that price is just extraordinary. And um, it baffles me. I still haven't quite got over my confusion. I know it's, it's not a difficult thing for me to be confused, but I mean, uh, look at the price and the, the price itself. It's just, it's crazy. It's a crazy price. Um, I still can't get over it. <laughs> It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. There you go. Oh, it makes huge sense to put it in your basket, whichever way you like to look at it. Yeah. It makes no sense for us to be giving it away at That's that price. It. And it's part of the reason as well, Becky, why we've kind of clumped two launch days within the two shows. So instead of within launch day one of just focusing on one kind of launch and then within this one, we're just focusing on another one. What we've kind of done is we've just kind of done one launch day show within the first one and then we're looking at all these items again because so many of you have gone for this bundle but are aware even though it's a Saturday irrelevant of what time frame you are across the globe so many of you still work so therefore this might be the first opportunity to see this showstopper to see this bundle and to see this deal it might be the first opportunity you maybe work Monday to Friday you're not able to catch up on 24-7 on our YouTube this is the first live day you've been able to catch at the 18th birthday celebration so that's why what we're doing within the second launch day show we're having a recap, a proper recap of all these brand new launches and we're going to do it straight straight away with Becky right now. Yeah, absolutely. So, quickly to show you the, the um, animal templates that we've got here. We've got the lion, we've got the dragon and we've also got the elephant. Now, you'll see the elephant is dressed. The elephant is dressed with outfits that we launched a couple of years ago. So, if you were lucky enough to get the teddy bear outfit templates, 
they will work with these animals as well. Um, this one here, this little um, dragon, this is using some of that new fabric that we showed you. We showed you some um, of the fabrics earlier on, on the earlier show, those brightly coloured fabrics. That's using some of those fabrics in there to give you an idea. Okay. And obviously this one's using a little bit of gingham. Perhaps you're gonna be using old school uniform. That would be absolutely ideal. But the thing that we're gonna concentrate on now is that we're gonna look at this one, which is your bunny or your rabbit kit. Um, so you have a rabbit and you have a teddy bear. Um, they're, they're effectively the same. Um, they get a slightly different shape. You're gonna get the same contents in the box. So if I show you what you're gonna be getting in here, mm -hmm. this is a complete set. So everything you need to make this is in here. You're going to be getting the um, animal stuffing, um, the toy animal stuffing. You'll also be getting a length of ribbon to put around the neck of your unfinished um, rabbit. Um, obviously with the teddy bear, it's different colours. You'll be getting your nose and your eyes and your buttons for your limbs um, because these are all made in the same sort of way in that you have limbs um, to create, mm -hmm. um, or you have buttons to create the moving limbs. More stuffing because you'll, you'll find you need so much more stuffing than you thought you needed. You're also going to be getting in here your instruction booklet you'll be getting some embroidery thread in black so you can embellish the face of your um, chosen animal and then finally you will be getting this printed piece of fabric this is 100% cotton fabric and all of the pattern pieces are printed in here not only are they printed in here they're printed with this beautiful um, kind of uh, polka dot design the teddy bear has a blue gingham and um, you've got different patterns so you can have different sizes so you can have um, what the like for the ears you have maybe the inside with the floral um, you've got all of these pieces in here they're all ready for you to cut out meaning that as long as you have a pair of scissors and a sewing machine and some thread, you can get started on making this straight away. So you okay. don't need to worry about going to buy any of the safety buttons or any of the embroidery thread or any of the animal stuffing. All of the bits and pieces are contained in here, making it really easy to get started and start making your item. Now, this is absolutely perfect as a gift um, because it comes in that box, which makes it look really, really nice in itself. But can you imagine, you, these could be great stocking fillers. Mm -hmm. If you've got a, a grandchild or a child that's really into for a bit of sewing perhaps you've got somebody that's about to have a new baby you might want to give them this so they can make yeah. this um, item maybe you want to make it as a, a gift for a new baby maybe you want to make it as an heirloom piece to pass on to one of your children or your grandchildren um, it is really lovely because it's in this nice box it makes it a great gift um, and the fact that everything is contained in here makes it super super easy for you um, so we're going to get started now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give everything a bit of an iron right. because it's been a bit crumpled um, in the packaging well not crumpled but folded um, I want to start off by cutting everything out and um, making it nice and flat um, so what we're going to do today and now because earlier on in the show you saw me um, make um, well uh, on the earlier shows rather you saw me making the um, a, a, a limb I made a hand I made an arm and I made a, a leg with a mm -hmm. foot um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on the head now and also the body so we're going to make a head and then we're going to put that together with the body and then basically throughout the shows that we've had today you've seen me make a whole one all together and yeah. um, so we're just going to give everything a bit of a press as I say this is really good quality nice cotton fabric um, you can see how nicely it all irons together and so we're just going to iron I like all how, these bits. Um, how you've done that today, Becky. Although you've not been able to create a full project, because it yeah. is one of those that you're going to sit or stand, you're going to be relaxed, you're going to be chilled, and you're going to be creating these. But by the end of today, over a couple of the projects throughout today, mm -hmm you'll have essentially, by the end, created a full character. Exactly. It's a that's, nice way of doing that's it. That's what we're planning on doing. Um, right, I'm going to cut the... Um, I'm just going to cut them roughly at the moment out here so i'm going to, you're effectively going to see this more or less sort of real time i suppose because you're seeing me from the start to um the finish of making um this sort of section of your um rabbit so i'll pop that just to one side so here we've got the face um, and the ears and these are the pieces that we're going to use so i find the best way of doing this is to cut them roughly and then spend a bit of time cutting them out with your scissors. And that's what I do when it comes to paper. If I'm having a roughly cut out first, that's what I do. Yeah, and then it I makes sense, doesn't afterwards. it? Yeah. 
So I, I always find that um, using good quality scissors, absolutely key. Um, you don't want to use, well, I always was a bit of a stickler for using um, fabric scissors for fabric and paper scissors for paper. But actually, I, I have to be honest, um, Leanne told me I didn't have to and I didn't really believe her. And I thought, well, you know, I'll do what she says and then I can go, no, Leanne, you're wrong. Um, <laughs> actually, no, I have to read my words. Leanne, you're right. I can get away with using this for paper craft and for soft craft as well. I mean... In a world of soft crafts and paper crafts, that's so unheard of, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Same scissors for both. Yeah, absolutely. And I know, I can't think who it is, but um, certainly a couple of the craft experts use them in their kitchen. Use them mm -hmm. for... Um, Sarah food. does. Yeah, Debbie cutting, them, cutting the bacon, that kind Fisher. of thing. Yeah. yeah. I think they're, they're really, really handy um, set of scissors to have. Because as Debbie Fisher says, they just work. Yeah, absolutely. So we're just going to cut around work. here. So we've got... We've got the um, ears, we want to put those right sides together and what we're going to do is we're going to stitch all the way around the edge here and do the same over here this side. And they're quite simplistic shapes to cut, aren't they? There's nothing they overly complicated. They are, and you can, you know, if you didn't want to use scissors, you could use a rotary cutter, um, but I find actually scissors are just as easy and just as quick um, to use. Unless you're going to be cutting something that has lots of straight lines, mm -hmm. um, I tend to use scissors right. um, more often. Than not. So cut around the edge. I suppose it's easier if you've got something with a curve or roundness, it's easier for that flow with the scissors, isn't it? It is, yeah. And the, you know, I do like the fact that you can, you know, you don't have to worry about getting hold of some fabric for this. You know, you've got everything contained in these in these boxes. Um, and every, you know, including all of the embellishments as well, which is nice. You know, you don't have to sort of be looking to buy, um, like I had to, hundreds and hundreds of safety eyes. Um, right. You've got the safety nose, you've got the safety eyes as mm -hmm. well. Um, you've got that embellishment, or that little bit of em embroidery to embellish um, the face. Um, so you've got all of those things inside this kit. Oh, so they are. So there we've got our, we've got our, um, what are they called ears? That's the okay. word I'm looking for. And just then we while, um, while you're just cutting yeah. that out, Becky, uh, so many are still tuning in this evening and saying uh, good evening or good afternoon. We've got Pat is saying the stuffed animals are so, so cute. We've got Rennie is in uh, from us. Oh, I read, uh, read Rennie's out. She's from, she's from Georgia. We've got Mary Pat 1000 saying I'm in love with that dragon. We've also got Rosalind is saying a scrapped animal would be cute. Yeah, using your scraps. Yeah, absolutely. Scraps of fabrics, that would be good. Deborah's saying, I can imagine a tie-dye fabric to make a bear. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. Uh, we have also got, we've got Debbie, uh, uh, Debbie Adolson is in saying, my niece would absolutely love all of these. I don't think there's a kiddie that wouldn't love these. I don't think it's an adult that wouldn't love these. Joanne's in saying, hi everyone from central New York. Made it back in time from a quilt show to watch. Glad that you've managed to make it in time. Roxanne is saying, you both look so wonderful. The stuffies, as my grandson is saying, are so <laughs> cute. Is that us? No, stuffies are the stuffed animals, it's the I think. The, the animals, I hope so. isn't it? J just the way, Roxanne, you said here, you both look so wonderful. The stuffies, as my grandson <laughs> would say, are so cute. Just want to check. Not that I mind. Well, I don't know. We might be wrong. I might maybe, be wrong. Maybe you're referring to us maybe, as maybe stuffies. Maybe we are the stuffies. Maybe we are. We've got Something Hadass. like the twits. The twits. The twits. Did you the used twi to like the twits? I didn't actually, no. So I didn't read that until, I don't think, I think it was when my children were at school and I didn't read it as a child. Mm -hmm. And I just thought it was faintly revolting. The twits. Yeah. And I've never looked at uh, men with a big bushy beard in quite the same way. Because the twits are actual dull, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The twits. The twits. That's what, actually, to be fair, that's what they call me and Ben sometimes when we're together. All right, Charlotte, <laughs> I didn't think you were going to agree with that one there. <laughs> she was right in there. She was. She wasn't, she wasn't letting you get away with that at no, all. No, I know. No. Uh, yeah, no, we do have some fun. So, yeah, we can be like the twits, that's for sure. He is back tomorrow, by the way. Right. Now, I've quickly cut through um, all these different pieces. So, 
Let's have a look at our little booklet so you can see how to put it together. Um, we've given you a booklet just the same as we did with those templates for the animals. Um, we've given you step-by-step -step instructions to show you how to put them together. Uh, and, and, it, and it's similar in the, in the way that we did the animal before. I mean, you, you can see from them that they are a similar kind of shape, but obviously you've got the benefit of this being, having everything completed in it. Um, so this, these two pieces go together. Um, we'll just put them together like that. And we want to stitch along this line here. And then this piece here, or these two pieces here, we want to stitch along this line here. Um, so that's going to create our face for our animals. And then we also want to stitch these two um, ears all the way around the edge and then turn them around the outside. Okay. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Right, you I think, Becky, if you're all right, if yep. we uh, give uh, some of you a chance to check out your baskets, if we take a little bit of a break, let you yep. reset, and then we can continue with this demonstration just in a moment, because we know that many of you have actually popped the showstopper in your basket, and you're just hovering, waiting to check out. So Becky's not going to go any further until we come back. We just want to give you that little bit of an opportunity, Becky, to get over to the sewing machine, and we will all be back just in a couple of minutes. The party is here. It's time to find your sparkle because Crafter's Companion is turning an amazing 18. We've got Disco Fever and you're all invited to light up the dance floor for our biggest and brightest party yet. And it's the hottest ticket in town and everyone's on the guest list. So follow the call of the Disco Ball and join us from the 9th to the 20th of October. We'll be shining the spotlight on a dazzling lineup of amazing new launches, offers and so many surprises. And Crafters TV has been transformed into a boogie wonderland with live fun and crafty goodies every day. And we're keeping the party going with birthday 24-7. Tune in to enjoy non-stop Crafters TV all day, every day, throughout the entire birthday celebration. So, Dancing Queens, what are you waiting for? Visit our amazing new Crafters Companion website to join the fun and shine bright. Many of our viewers bring up time and time again, and that's our wax seal seal gate. Thinking, Joe, it might not work as well because I've put too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've forgotten to put me, um, <coughs> me thing in place. <laughs> <laughs> because I have a way of words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Fire Fireman 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 um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. I went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> We were just talking about how they really need to uh, update them. However, there's been that many from all of us on the team. <laughs> it's kind you of like... You speak for yourself. I don't make any mistakes ever. OK, that's true. I did wreck the set before we went on air earlier on when I walked into all of the things over there and made everything smash on the floor. Yeah, but no one saw that and it wasn't on camera, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't count. Doesn't count doesn't count. Mm. Just as well, nothing gets captured. 
yes. before we go live. Yeah, thank goodness. Whether it's cameras or whether it's mics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got to be careful about that, haven't we? Yes. Who knows what we might be saying before we go live. It's generally something about food, I have to be honest with you. <laughs> Isn't it, Craig? Yeah. <coughs> Scott, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely caught me off guard there. Uh, right, Theo, I'm so, so glad so many of you checked out your basket there. You realise how incredible that showstopper is. But before we go any further, well, in actual fact, I'm saying before we go any further, we're going further, we're going straight to Becky again. Yep, OK, right, we're going to stitch now. So I've got my pieces together. So I've got my two um, a bunny ears. So I'm going to stitch round the outside, not this bit. Uh, the same on that one. And then I'm going to stitch down here and then down there. I'm using um, two millimeter stitch on my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch back and forth at the beginning and the end of each section that I do. We've got another couple of questions coming through so what we'll do is I'll just start to let them build just by a couple and then I'll ask Becky all at the same time just shortly. Yep. We're just going round these edges. So when I was saying earlier on anyone can do these you know, as long as you can have a go at a sewing machine you're just following around you're just stitching around you can be as slow as you like I'm, I'm being no I'm not being very fast when I'm stitching the, these you just want to be slow you're just going to stitch around the edge if you use um, a machine foot that's got a quarter of an inch seam allowance already on there it makes it a little bit easier for you and um, you can do it that way now what I do is when I want to go around a curve um, I might lift up my um, this presser foot um, I keep my needle inside my fabric and then I can just move my fabric around so that allows me a little bit more flexibility when I'm going around a curve. Most machines will have give that ability for you to do. If I show you on this here, um, this is probably a good way of showing you as I'm going around. So I'm going to go back and forth a couple of times at the beginning and the end. And then I'm just going to stitch along this curve now this curve's like quite a gentle slow moving curve but when i get to this point at the top you can see it's a, it's quite a deep was well, quite a, quite a sharp curve mm -hmm. so i'm just doing a couple of stitches and i'm just turning my machine or should I, turning my fabric around i'm going to leave my my um needle inside here and then i'm just going to turn just lifting up this presser foot and just turning very slightly do a couple of stitches do one more stitch and turn it again, one more stitch, turn it again. I'm just going to go round to get that little point round in that, that curve. So you see I've done that quite slowly to make sure I get that nice curve going around the edge. And that's all you need to do. So there's no, there's no race and you're not trying to be the fastest machinist in the, in the West, but you just want to make sure you're going around that nice curve around the edge here. I'm going to do the same with this one here. So once again, we'll start and finish, go back and forth. So start a couple of stitches, go back a couple of stitches, and then we're going to go down this smooth, gentle curve. And as we get further around this pointy part of the curve, we're just gonna slow down a little bit. I'm gonna make sure my needle stays inside my fabric when I okay. stop. So I'm gonna press my little button, which does that. If you don't have a little button, it doesn't matter, you'll have a wheel at the side of your machine, you can do it that way. So I'm gonna do a couple more stitches and then I'm just gonna turn my fabric. So I'm just lifting that presser foot up. You can see that is your presser foot. Just lifting that up to allow me to move my fabric in, in a couple of ways. And it's keeping that anchored in because it's got that little um, needle in there. So we're just moving that around. So I've got round to that nice gentle curve again. Okay, so we've done those two as well. And then we've just got this last piece of the face to do. So once again, stitch back and forth at the beginning and at the end using quarter of an inch seam allowance. And we've got a nice gentle curve here, so we shouldn't need to stop our machine. There we go, all done. So we'll just take the pins out of these ears. Now, when we talked about um, curves earlier on today, I said to you, you wanted to make sure that you 
minimise the amount of fabric that you've got within a curve because this allows you, if you've got lots of fabric in there, when you when you turn this around the right way, you'll have like sort of at funny angles mm -hmm. because you've got too much fabric in here. So there's a number of ways you can get rid of this. You can use your scissors to cut from the edge of your fabric almost to your stitching line you could do a few of these and that will sort of give you your fabric a little bit of ease around that corner or you can use some pinking shears now the pinking shears are what i'm going to use here i'm going to use that on that point over the top here and that's just going to take away that excess fabric but you're cutting you're using your pinking shears fairly close to your um your seam allowance you don't want to cut into it if you cut into it you have to stitch it all over again and we're just cutting down, just trimming away that excess um, fabric. I'm going to do that all the way around here. So there's two different ways you can do it. Um, you can, of course, if you wanted to, you could um, do, uh, no, use both techniques. Maybe you wanted to do the pinking shears around the very tip of this um, point and then use the um, idea of sort of cutting in from the edge um, around the other side. It's entirely up to you and um, whichever way you want to best do it. But I think pinking shears are going to work on this one. So I'm going to do this for the same for both of those ears. And then I'm going to turn the ears around the right way. See how I know you've obviously only cut out and stitched a few just so obviously you can show us, but at home, would you cut them all out and then stitch yes, them all? Yeah, so you would... I, I would. If I was making this at home, well, mm, no, it depends. Now, if I was, if I did sort of set aside an afternoon and I was like, right, I'm going to sit down and make this, yes, absolutely, you could do, do that. If you were thinking, actually, I've only got 10 minutes to do a bit of sewing, I would just cut perhaps the ears. Um, and maybe the, the feet mm -hmm. or the legs or the arms, just a couple of sections um, out of your sheet um, of fabric um, so you can get started. So because we've written on here, turn it around the right way so you can actually see, we've written on here what each section is. Um, it's quite easy. You could just cut that piece off and just think, well, I'm just going to do the arms today. Yeah. I'm just going to put those together. That will stop you from getting confused with all the bits and pieces that you've got. And also, you know, it, it, it minimises the opportunity of you actually losing exactly, part of yeah. um, what you're working on as well. Now, um, these pieces are for the um, head. Um, I'm just going to do the same with these. I'm going to trim them down with my pinking shears around close to that edge where I've just stitched on that one and also this one here. So this one's got quite quite a significant curve, as you can see here. But again, I'm, not making, sh I'm making sure my pinking shears are not going close to that actual stitch line. Now, when you get to that point there, that point can be a bit tricky. So what we're going to do is we're just going to be um, careful on that point as you can see here we've come to a, we've stitched to an actual little point here because we've got that little curve now I, what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut from that point down to almost to the stitching and then i'm going to trim away so we're almost cutting out a little bit of a, a v to get rid of that excess thread or excess um fabric in there right we're going to turn everything around the right way so this takes a little bit of um, fiddling around because you've stitched back and forth at the beginning and end of each of these pieces, you can you know, pull these around, these ears. Um, the ears are not made to put any stuffing into. You probably wouldn't with um, rabbit ears because you want them a bit floppy. They give your um, rabbit a little bit of distinction, don't they? A little bit of um, emotion having mm -hmm. sort of floppy ears. Um, but if you did want to make their ears a little bit more um, rigid, you can put some... Um, some of the animal stuffing in them um, to fill them out if that's what you wanted to do. So I've turned that one almost all the way. I'm just going to find a pen. I'll use that pen just to poke through the rest of that little one here. Now if you get to a point where you think, mm, actually I don't know how to pull this bit out, you can use um, some tweezers. Um, you could use um, something like a, a pokey tool or indeed you could use a pin just to poke inside there. So anything and be like a little out. bit of length or something to it, or to a yeah. point. Yeah, something just to hoik it out. A pair of tweezers is the best way to go. Um, because you make sure you don't rip your fabric. Obviously with a something that's sharp like a pokey tool or a, a pin, and there's a potential that you might sort of rip your fabric if you're a bit heavy handed with it. But you just want to poke out that little point. Like that down here. And then I like to roll my 
um, my, my seams. So you want to make your hang, hands a little bit moist. You can do that with a wipe and um, with a little bit of water. And then you just roll back and forth along that seam and that will flatten out. Okay. And then you can give it all a bit of a press. So you can see we've done one ear there. We'll do the same with the other ear. Now, when we want to create the, the face, um, you saw earlier on today when I was doing the face for the um, teddy, it works in the same sort of way. Um, so what we were going to do is we take the face, which is this one here, and we fold it out this way. Like that. And we're going to poke that through. And then you can see you've created that face, you've got that little snout um, that you have there. And we're going to work out where we want to put our, our rabbit ears and we'll mark those with um, one of our pens here. And then we will take the um, little accessories that you get inside this pack. So in here you've got, um, you've got your safety buttons for your eyes, you've got those little washers that go on the back of them. You've also got a safety nose, you can see that's like a nice sort of heart, almost like a heart shape with a slightly larger kind of washer to go on the back. And then you've got four little wooden beads, uh, not beads, buttons, and these are going to create the places for you to put your um, little um, joints in as well. Um, so I'm just going to mark those out with my pen. I was well, when I say I was surprised, Becky, you know, all throughout today, when it comes to the showstopper and that teddy bear accessories, no matter how many times you've said within the teddy bear kit, you get everything. I assumed that the reason that we put the teddy bear accessories in that is so you can use them with the teddy bears and the bunny rabbit. But the fact is, you, you get the ad, yeah. you, you do literally get everything. These are like little bonuses, little extras. So if you are wanting to make more when it comes to the templates and things like that, you've got them. So it's not as if you need them to work with the bunny rabbit or the teddy bear. You've got everything. These are then going to work for your templates or maybe something else. They absolutely are. And that what you know, makes it such a... Such a Quite frankly, a mind-boggling deal, let's be honest. It doesn't right. make sense, Becky. It, it doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense at all. Right, we've just put some little marks here. I'm using um, this. I'm just going to do it, make a tiny little nick, um, or you can use um, something to make a little hole. And again, we're going to pop that little eye. Um, so these are your safety button eyes. And we're just going to find that little hole. It's always really difficult doing this with my, my nails. Um, oh, do you need my help again? Uh, Craig uh, is on the way, dear. <laughs> oh, you, they, you can help me. So you pop, can you just squish that on for me? Push that really hard and just push that on for me. You do it? Yeah. What would I do without you? We're doing a Ben just and push. a Debbie, you know. Are oh, we? my love, my what? darling. A couple of weeks ago when Ben and Debbie were together and they were doing a bit of ghost. Yeah. Debbie was doing, I think it was no, the shaving foam. They were doing shaving foam. Oh, okay. And Ben had his arms around her, oh. and they were doing a little bit. Oh, I didn't see that. We could do that. We could. Do you want? Do you want to? Come then. Look, come. No, you got to go. But that's your neck. There, like that. Right. Good luck with that. Oh, <laughs> my, my love, my, my darling, I, I hunger for your, your touch. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know what it is either. You, have you done it yet? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> pushing something. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> You've done it! You did it! You managed to get it in. It's all working, Craig. It's all working. Right. Now we're going to do the other one because Craig seems to be. Um, what are you doing over there? <laughs> He's disappeared. He did do it. Well done, Craig. You managed to get it in for me. Fantastic. So we're just going to make a little bit of a hole in this one again. Pop that through here. <laughs> Oh dear, so much fun. You wouldn't think it's work, would you? We have no, too you much fun oh. here. <coughs> <laughs> you all right with that? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I, might, I, I don't know if I can get this in, you know, Craig. I might need your help again. Hold on a second. All right. Um, so we're just putting that little washer on the back of there. There you go. I'm pushing it through. So it's all secured. And it makes like a little click when you've got the eye in the right place. So what you're doing is you're just pushing that little rubber washer over the top of that. There we go. So you've got your two eyes. Now you want to do exactly the same with the nose. Just want to make sure you've got the nose in the right place. Um, so we're going to make a little mark down here. Are they and both then, like 
distinctive different sizes so you know yeah they are look that look at the nose yeah. versus the eyes the nose is a kind of a triangular shape um so yeah they're definitely um different you're not going to get the muddled up no. and you're going to have a little rabbit with a lopsided eye no and i suppose you get more for the eye so that's kind of a given isn't it the, yeah the ones you've got the most of are the eyes well because these are the kits so you've got um, a set of everything mm -hmm. in each kit obviously if you're going to when you actually use the showstopper bundle when you've got everything in there you've got um in that little um, accessories pack you've got all of those different shapes in there so again pop that larger washer on don't do this with um tv nails and we're going to turn his little nose Round the other way, I think, because I think Bunny's nose should be that way round. That's what I reckon. There we go, like that. So you can see how that's looking. Now, this is the time you would want to use some of that embroidery thread to embroider a little um, face on here. So you can embroider going down here and then maybe a little smile around here, if that's what you wanted to do. Um, but that is the time that you would do that. Um, so we're not going to do the, that embroidery. What we're going to do is we're going to turn out the other um, ear and we're going to attach the ears to the rabbit face so de again the same way as we did before so we've already cut already stitched around the outside and we've already trimmed away that excess um, fabric as well so we'll just turn this around the right way like so I think this is going to be particularly rabbit I always think of rabbits for Easter mm -hmm. you know yeah, having I one do. of these as um, you know in an Easter basket with obviously some chocolate because otherwise it wouldn't be Either yeah. Easter or new baby. Yeah, yeah, new baby. Yeah, that'd be yeah. quite nice. I know a few Christine of you. Present. Sorry. Christening Christine present. present. Maybe, yeah. yeah, we'll have a look at the comments just shortly. But I've been reading them, and a few of you have said the same, either as um, you know, new birth gifts or christening gifts, something like that with the rabbit. But like, like you, Becky, if I take a new baby out of the equation, then yeah, I think of I think of Easter. Yeah, I do. Right. So we've got the little ears here. Now you want to give them a little bit of a press. Um, I don't really think we've got an awful lot of time but you can see how they're going to look now you need to decide how you want your ears to look on your bunny now i quite like the idea what we've done on this one is um we've made him a little lopsided so one side has got the bunny oh, ear, yeah. the, the fabric on one side and the fabric on another which is quite nice um i quite like the fabric being on the inside of the bunny ear um so i want to make sure i have it in the right place now placement of your ears it's very important to get the true emotion of your, your animal. So an animal that looks like this with the, the ears sticking out like that just looks quite inquisitive and a little bit mad. Um, up like that looks a bit more alert. Down like that, it's really sad. It's really sad. And the, the rabbit ears do flop down. So you do need to take that into consideration. So I think roughly, to be honest, yet they need to be around about here to almost cover his eyes. You've got all that. Could you stuff the ears as well? Pardon? Can you stuff the ears? You could you do. If you could, you could, you could stuff any stuff? part of it you wanted to, really. You could stuff the ears, or, but you yeah. probably wouldn't want to. You could put some wire in it. Yeah. You could put a little bit of wire, make like a little wire shape and they could on bend. here. And then you could bend. You could bend them, yeah. Um, you could bend them into any shape that you wanted to. But yeah, I think they're quite nice being a bit floppy is what I would suggest that you do. So we just pop that there. I'm going to put a little um, pin in place. Um, and I, what I want to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue. You know I love a little bit of glue. I don't want to... Um, I, I'm going to stitch everything together. And I only want, a bit, I want to pop a little bit of glue here um, to secure it in place. Good so a little bit of glue um, around about here. So I know that's where I'm going to put him. Um, just this is this glue is just here um, instead of me pinning it right so like that like that stick that together and then we're going to do the same with this other ear I just want it roughly in the same well we do want it we don't want it roughly in the same place we want it in the same place on the other uh, across the other eye so yeah absolutely if you wanted to stuff your um, ears you could do no problem at all Okay, so now we've got that. We're just going to let that um, stick for a minute. And then we're going to attach the back part of the head to the front part of the head. So once that has taken off, that's gone off a bit, I'm going to do a couple little tacking stitches just to secure it because I don't want it to move when I'm putting the, the back part of the head to it. And then we're, we're, good, we're good to go to create, finish creating the, the face of the bunny.
Brilliant, excellent. Yep. I'll, live, I'll let you get a couple of minutes or so just to kind of uh, gather away, Becky, and then we'll come back to you see that next continuation. But let's have another little bit of a recap with this showstopper bundle here. So you're going to get your threaders. This is your animal template and your teddy bear showstopper collection. Now, when it comes to the showstopper collection, now remember, Becky has got the bunny rabbit set. So you are going to get that full bunny rabbit set that Becky just showed you. So essentially what you get within the teddy bear, but you can make a teddy bear within this one, and you can also make the one that Becky's just doing now, which is the bunny rabbit. So you get Becky's, and you get this one. Now, these ones on their own are worth $19.99 or $24.95. So that is exceptional value. However, when it comes to the showstopper, we're also then going to be giving you these templates. So throughout Wake Up Call, as well as the first launch day of the day, earlier on today, Becky had showed you a number of components that by the end, they'll combine to make a beautiful, fun, cute little lion. But you can also do the dragon as well. And then you can also do the elephant as well. Now, when it comes to those templates on their own, they're worth $9.99 or $12.95. So there is your three templates that you're getting, plus the bunny rabbit, plus the box that enables you, sorry, that's the teddy, and you get the box as well that enables you to make the bunny rabbit. So you're going to get all of that. Then what you're also going to be getting is the accessory set. So you're going to get the little snippy scissors as well. Well, no, it's my favourite scissors. You're also then going to be able to then get the actual pens as well. So we're going to get the heat erasable pens. We're also then going to be giving you the teddy bear accessory set. So that's giving you the buttons. It's giving you the three sets of eyes, the three noses. And you're also then going to be giving you the clips as well. So all of that on its own within that bundle there, it's worth £24 or $35. But when it comes to that showstopper bundle, it works out that you're getting all of that for a tenner, £10.10. So you're going to get all of that. You're going to get then the teddy bears. You're also going to get the bunny rabbit. All three of these templates, you're going to get them for $69.95 or $88.75. Now, on that, you're going to be saving $24.96. Or for you guys stateside, you are going to be saving $36.84. And then if you're platinum, if you're platinum, that's going to come down to $55.96 for all of that. For you guys stateside, $71. You're going to get your double points on that. Plus, you're, of course, going to get your Gemini Mini so and set dies. And then you're also then going to be getting your silver crystal pen as well. You don't need to do anything for that. The guys and girls in the warehouse will then pop that into your, your uh, order, and then it will be shipped out to you. So that is your Threaders Showstopper. Incredibly busy, incredibly popular throughout the day, which I'm not surprised, and continue continues to be really, really busy when it comes to you guys in the comments. We'll have a look just at the start of the next hour. But what we can then have a little look here is our festive treat dies. Now, these ones here are a multi-craft die, so they're going to work really, really well with your fabrics, maybe in with some of your materials. But, of course, you're then going to be able to do things such as your mount board, your thick materials, if you want to. So you're going to get your gingerbread man. You're also then going to be getting your penguins. You're then also going to be getting your snowman. And then you're also going to be getting the Christmas tree. Now, not only are you going to be getting all of them, what you're also then going to be getting is your vinyl fabric as well. So within today's price, you're saving 25%. And this is the best ever price as well when it comes to this bundle. 34 46 or $44.81. Platinum price, $27.57 or $35.85. You're going to get your double points on that as well. And I know Becky's got a couple of samples that she's just away to show I us. I have, now. yeah. So I've got here a little advent calendar that we've used them just as embellishments. But the idea of these is you have a little aperture that you cut out of the middle and you can fill that with a, a stitch around with some vinyl and then use it as a way of decorating and putting a treat inside. But of course, because these are multimedia dyes, you can use them for your paper craft. So here we've used that aperture to create that little um, a shaker card idea. This one here, using them as little decorations um, generally. Um, penguin one, look at that. Using that, um, just that shape. Um, and I love the fact that it's diverse. You can be able to use it in all sorts of different ways. Really cool. 
Awesome. Thank you for that one, Becky. All these different things that you can be doing and so much more as well. Everything that we featured within this launch day as well as the first launch day of the day and wake up call you can find across on the website, our brand spanking new website that you can be finding all glitz and glam where all the deals and all the offers are where you need to go. Of course, that's crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. You can be watching while you're shopping, but what I would recommend, of course, is going onto our YouTube. Why would you do that? Because now you can watch 24-7. And that's 24-7 when it comes to, of course, our shows throughout the day. So if you don't catch the shows live, you'll be able to go back within that 24-7 service and watch them there. .co.uk.com.eu. That's where you need to go. We are back. We are back with a bang. We are back with a showstopper bang. And then this is, of course, all about threaders. We are day six of our Crafters Companion 18th birthday celebration. And it's so on Saturday, hence why we've got the Queen herself. Becky Sworn is in the building all day today. You guys have absolutely loved seeing what Be Becky's been making. You guys are predominantly paper crafters. You've really enjoyed, and some more comments coming through saying the same, that although you maybe don't really dabble in soft crafts, you love, one, you love Becky, and two, you just love seeing her creations and her makes and her thought process. So when it comes to the showstopper, you're going to be able to take advantage of a couple of the free gifts. I'm going to go through all the free gifts and the total what I mean by that is, when it comes to birthday event, if you spend £10 or $10 each day, you're going to be getting a free gift. Now, that's going to be different every single day. Today, as you can see, coming up on your screen right now, and that I'm going to be showing you just here, is your Gemini Mini die set. So you've got your seven dies here. Now, yes, these are perfect for your paper crafting, but you've got all these little icons when it comes to sewing. So if you spend over £10, $10, 10 euros, that's going to be popped into your basket automatically. You don't need to do anything. The guys and girls will pop it into your box and ship it to you. Now, if you do spend over £50 or $50 or €50, Euros, you're going to be getting a brand new Crafter's Companion crystal pen. Now, you are getting a Crafter's Companion crystal pen every day, certainly within this past week of our birthday celebrations. It's the colour that is different. It's the colour that is exclusive and only available when it comes to your free gift of spending over £50 or $50. Today is that gorgeous silver. I love the crystals. I love that metallic silver, but I love the satin silver as well with the purple brand. So that is going to be your free gift if you spend over 50 Once again, you don't need to do anything. The guys and girls in the warehouse will pop that into your basket. Now, like many of you, you've been shopping over £100 dollars or euros. And if that's the case, you're going to be getting limited edition, exclusive. This is our leopard print pink and black jute bag. It is Crafters Companion branded, and we will give that to you completely free. You just need to make sure your order is over £100 or dollars, and the guys and girls will pop that into your order. Now, if you do spend over £100 or dollars, yes, you're going to get that. You're still going to get your pen. You're still going to get your die set as well. And no matter what, over birthday event, you're going to be getting double points and the chance of being able to spend £300, $300 on Crafters Companion goodies. The main draw will be taking place a week tomorrow with Ben and Leanne. All that you need to do with, to be in with the chance of uh, winning that prize is just comment him. Comment in within each live show. It can be anything. You can say anything. Please be kind, of course. But, you know, even if it's just hi, maybe you're not one to comment. You just watch. Even just by saying hi there, or maybe I love you, Becky, or I, I love what you're oh, wearing, you Becky, too, or I love so what I you make, Becky. What you that's okay. That's You carry on. I carry on, because I love you a bit. <laughs> that's all. You just need to comment. It does need to be in a live show, of course. So at the, just before the end of this live show, Susie's going to give me a helping hand. She's going to pick one name, one lucky name. That name is going to go into our disco ball that's over there that I'll bring in just shortly. And then that is when we will find out a week tomorrow with Ben and Leanne. One lucky name will be picked out from each live show and you may win 
£300 to be spending at Crafters Companion. So we've got lots going on, lots galore. .co.uk.com.eu, that's the place you need to go. Find out all the details, find out all the deals, and then, of course, you can find out all the benefits as well. Now, just on the last of that last hour there, Becky got to a point where she just stopped, took a break for us to recap. Very quick recap now of the showstopper, and we're going to go straight back to Becky, who's going to continue with what she was doing when it comes to the bunny rabbits. So within the showstopper here, you're going to be getting the templates. You're going to be getting these templates that are going to enable you to then create the actual elephant. Now, you will need your fabrics and that, but this gives you the basis, the starter being the template. You can do the dragon, and then you can also do the lion. What I would say as well, between wake up call today and launch day, the first launch day, Becky done a number of components that then complete this lion. So you can then go back over the two shows on our 24 seven uh, rewind on our website. And then of course you can check that out, see how Becky done that. But then what you're also going to be getting which was added right at the last minute last night, and Becky didn't even realise when she came in this morning, is you're going to get the teddy bear. So that's going to enable you to make this gorgeous, cute teddy bear. You get everything. But you're also going to get the bunny rabbit as well. So Becky's got that box. That's what she's in the middle of demonstrating, and that's what you're going to be able to be making. Now, not only that, when it comes to that showstopper, what you're going to be getting is an accessory pack. Accessory pack that's worth £24 or 30 is about $35, this accessory pack. You've got the scissors as well, but when it comes to that showstopper bundle price, essentially, you're getting this for a tenner. You're getting the little snippy scissors. You're also then going to be getting the 10 pack of the clips as well. You're also then going to be getting your three pack of your heat erasable pen. So you're going to get the black, blue, and also the red. And then you're also going to be getting the teddy bear accessories as well. The buttons, the eyes, and also the nose. So they're going to work really well for the templates. You don't need them for the teddy bear and the bunny rabbit because you get everything already within those boxes. So for that price of $69.95 or $88.75 is absolutely exceptional. You've got an incredible saving there of $24.96 or $36.84, but then you've got your platinum price. You've got your platinum price that comes down by 20% at £55.96 or $71. Then, of course, you're going to get your double points on that as well. Double points running all the way up till next Sunday. You're going to get your die set as a free gift, and you will also then get your silver crystal pen as well because you're over that £50 or $50 mark. Becky, the comment that's still going now when it comes to the value of this one here. Been enjoying seeing how you've started that process with mm -hmm. the bunny rabbit because it's, it, it, even for me watching, it seems to be a really... Cathartic, cathartic, enjoyable process to make them. No templates, no drawing, just cut in yeah. and then do a little bit of sewing. Absolutely. And, and we've given you really clear instructions so it makes it nice and simple for you to follow them. It is, it is really easy. There's no real complicated sewing. The thing that is going to happen now, the next bit that I'm going to do is, um, I know when I talked about earlier on, we talked about doing the feet. That's a bit tricky, getting that foot in, but it just takes a little bit of time, just spends a little bit longer making sure you've got everything in the right place. This is going to be the same sort of thing when we're stitching the head to the body. And um, that's the thing that, that again, just takes a little bit of um, time. It's not a complicated thing to do, but it's not something you want to rush on. Um, I'm sure once you get used to making these and you've used all the templates time and time again, mm -hmm. you will be sewing them as if you were working for Underworld on Coronation Street with not a care in the world, just zooming through them. Um, but you, when you first start stitching, just spend a little bit of time making sure you've got everything in place and don't rush. It's not a race. Can I just say, there won't be after last night's episode the way that that ended. I didn't see it. What was I doing last night? I must have been watching something else. What were you doing else. last night? Was it good? I do go to bed really early. Yeah. No, I don't, I, I don't come out... Of, we don't go, get out of here until half past eight, do we? So it's like... But I did go to bed about nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm fast yep. asleep. Is, is, is Underworld, is it going to be able to continue? Oh, really? I'll not do any spoilers, but it was a cracking I mean, episode. I have to say, I'm still surprised. They've still got a, um, a knicker factory um, in... Um, in Coronation Street. Well, again, no spoilers. Who knows? Who knows after last mm. night's episode? Do they? Do you still watch EastEnders? I've never watched EastEnders. You've never watched the EastEnders. only two I watch is Corey and Neighbours. Does anyone know? Is there still a laundrette in EastEnders? So I always find it extraordinary that all these people in EastEnders own a part share in the pub, the cafe, and somewhere else, and mm -hmm. the minicab shop, um, but none of them have got a washing machine. 
Just saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any stand EastEnders fans out there? Let us know. Let us know. Shall I carry on? You carry things? on, my right. love. Right, OK, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stitch together the body and we're also going to stitch together the head. Sounds like I'm creating Frankenstein's monster or the monster was Frankenstein. No, Frankenstein was the doctor, wasn't he? So here we've got our rabbit with the ears. Now, we put the ears here. We're going to allow our ears to be nice and floppy. It doesn't matter. And we've just done a couple of little stitches. Just hold it in place over here. I put a bit of glue in there as well. Now, we've stitched the back of the head. We always want to have right sides together. So what we're going to do is we're going to tuck his little ears inside his, his, inside his face, basically. And we're going to put the back of his head over the top. So we've got right sides facing. Do you see what I'm doing here? Back of the head against the front of the head, right sides facing. And we are going to match up that front seam. And we're going to put a clip in there. And then we're going to do the same with these pieces down here. So we're going to match that up with a clip, if you've got a clip or a pin, and then match all these edges around here. So we're going to stitch all the way around the edge on both sides here. And then the, uh, this part here will stay open like that. So we're just going to put a couple of pins down here. Make sure we've all got it in the right place. Now, during the break, I did cut out the tummy and the back of the a teddy bear, um, but I've not done anything else to them. I've literally just cut them out of the panel of fabric that we've got for this. Um, so obviously, these are all pre-printed panels. OK. And um, so I've just printed that off. Now, what we want to make sure we don't do, we don't want to stitch any of the ears um, around. So we're, we're tucking your ears, tucking your rabbit's ears away. So you, when you stitch around, you just want to stitch the front and the back of the um, head together. And then where we've got the ears stitched, we're going to stitch those together. We don't want to catch any other, other parts of the ears to it. Um, so again, as, as normal, we want to start and finish, go back and forth um, at the beginning and end of each of our um, pieces that we're stitching. Just to reiterate once again, I've not forgotten or ignored any of the questions. I've just let them build up, because I know there's a couple that Becky's kind of already covered since you've asked the question, but we will go back just shortly. Once Becky's finished this section, we'll do a little recap. What we'll do is we'll do another little fire, uh, fire section of those uh, questions to, to Becky, so I've not forgotten. So this is quite a nice, smooth curve. It's quite gentle, so you've seen I don't have to keep lifting up my presser foot. OK, right. So let's trim away these excess bits of thread we've got here, there and everywhere. Now, this bit is still open. We want to turn this around. Like that. And we've got a little bunny face. <laughs> so you can see how he's going to look. I think his ears are in the right place. When they flop down, it's going to make him look a little bit sad, a little bit sheepish, um, but we could always um, pop a little bit of um, f filling in yeah. there. Now, it, lo it looks a bit fox-like at the moment. It does, doesn't it? It's not got any, any filling in them. But that is our, our rabbit face. Now we want to create our rabbit body. So we've got two pieces here. This one is... Um, Oh gosh, which size is this? This is your bunny back and this is your bunny tummy. Um, we want to stitch along here. I'll move that up so you can see. We want to stitch along here. And we also want to stitch down here. We want to leave a little bit of a gap and then we want to stitch around here. So I'm going to use my pen. Um, do you know what? I picked up my heat erasable pens every single time I've used them. And then I can't remember what I do with them after this that. This one's open. It's all right. I've, you got I've one? Oh, yeah, I've got one now. So I'm just going to make a little mark here so I know not to sew over it. And this is just going to allow us oh, like a turning point um, again. So a little bit, a few pins in here. One of the questions Noah was asked, does yeah. this include a seam allowance within the pattern? Co a, quarter of an, a quarter of an inch seam allowance is always your standard. So when right. you cut out your pieces, you don't need to cut out um, a quarter of an inch um, a, a beyond, beyond the line, it. you just cut out on the line. Okay. And the other kind of generic one a couple of people have asked Becky yep. is, is it doable without a sewing machine? Um, it is, 
with the caveat that when you use this stuffing, um, toy animal stuffing, your stitches need to be really, really small because if they're too big, the um, the stuffing will come out oh, of the right animal. Um, yeah. So that is my that, that would be my my caveat to that. You could do it by hand. It's not overly complicated, but your stitching must be small, or um, do plenty of back stitching. So there's no way of making sure that anything's going to be mo moving through. So again, starting and finishing, go back and forth at the beginning and end. I'm using quarter of an inch seam allowance. We're going to start and stop here. And then I'm just going to move until that next point. So there was a gap where I didn't need to sew. But rather than take everything out of my sewing machine, I'm just doing it that way. So you can see now what I did here, I just need to cut that piece of thread. So rather than take it away out of my sewing machine, I just I moved my, um, my needle. So I've stitched down to there and then also there. And then I want to do the same with this one. I want to stitch all the way along here. A nice, again, a nice, smooth, gentle curve uh -huh. that we've got here. So I don't need to be fiddling around moving my presser foot to make sure I get that nice curve. But obviously, you will do when you've got a more um, complicated curve to work on. So we've got that piece down there as well. Right, the next thing we need to do is we want to get rid of that excess piece of the fabric that we had before. Again, I'm going to use my pinking shears. I'm just going to cut around the edges here just to get rid of that excess fabric like that. Up until that point, I'm not going to take any excess fabric where I haven't stitched because I want that excess fabric to make that into a seam allowance when I'm going to be stitching that together because I need to stitch that by hand um, really. So we're just going to go around here again, just trimming that excess fabric away like this. Okay. And then we'll turn this out. So this is his big fat tummy and then this is his back and you can see in the back we've got that little gap that's fine because that's the back we're going to turn everything around and then what's going to happen is we're going to stitch these two pieces together um, but you can see because this piece is a little bit bigger it's going to mean that you're going to get that nice bulbous round tummy shape that you've got here um, and that's what you want to do. But we also want to attach it to the head. So first of all, we're going to stitch this together um, all, all the way around. Um, and then we're going to attach the rabbit head inside. So basically what we'll do is stitch around here and then we'll place the rabbit head inside like that and be able to turn everything out together. So a pin round here. So again, if you find that like I do, you're lazy and you want to use a bit of glue you can absolutely do that with this you don't have to be thinking well, I've only, i can only pin it together um, I, i'm going to use a little bit of glue personally so i'm going to start with my textile glue and i'm going to work my way around now this is the same as we said as craig was saying before on the shows that we did earlier today i did a couple of limbs so i did an arm and i did um, the leg and the foot um, this would work in exactly the same way. I'm just showing you the different parts of the construction of the, of the teddy. Um, it's the same way you're going to be doing all of these. But obviously this one has got the benefit that you've got everything in this kit. Um, you've got all of the bits and pieces, all the embellishments, all of the eyes, safety noses, everything you could possibly need in here, as well as the stuffing. Whereas the other ones in the showstoppers are the templates. So you can use your own fabric. Um, but you will get that accessory pack in there as well. So I'll just move that around here. It really is. If you break it all down, you're getting loads, aren't you? you, you the whole showstopper. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Have I mentioned that? Just one, once or twice. Okay. Once or twice. I'm going to make in the dictionary, if you look up flummoxed and confused, it's just going to be a picture of me going, it doesn't make any sense. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. So we've done that, that first part, that first half. We're going to do the other half as well. So again, I'm going to start from the top up here. 
work my way down a little bit of textile glue now this te this is textile glue it's not tacky glue um, it's textile glue it's specifically made for using with fabric it's specifically made for using with your sewing machine so it's not going to gum up your machine it's going to allow you to sew through it's basically a, a liquid pin is what it's going to do for you so rather than trying to manage um, this with lots and lots of pins in place mm -hmm. it's just going to hold everything in place for you um, for it to be stitched together and makes it nice and easy for you can i ask no maybe a little bit controversial for oh, yeah. me being on this side when we're selling the products becky yeah before you cut it up yeah could you trace could you trace the pattern and then just keep it within your stash and then use other fabrics? Okay, I'm, I'm going to take that as a yeah. There you go. So with these accessory sets and that that you get within the showstopper, yeah. using your own fabrics. Yeah. You know, if you don't use the teddy bear accessories with the actual templates, yeah. but if you just draw around the back of the fabrics, use your own fabrics, mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. you can make more of them. Absolutely. I'm just saying, you know, mm -hmm. as, a, as a crafter. As a crafter, yeah, as a yeah. crafter, you want to try and um, you want to try and make the best use out of uh -huh. any products that you absolutely have. That's very true. Yeah, why not? Why not? I'd do it. Yeah. Definitely. Well, go for it then, yeah. Right, now that, that's um, stuck ground. I just wanted to give it a couple of minutes left to dry. Um, but what I'll do is I'll show you the next sort of step that we're going to do. Whilst we stitch this around, um, we're going to have the head and we're going to pop the head inside here. Um, then we're going to stitch around the edge. And then when we turn everything back out, the teddy is going to look the right way around. So it's not going to have any limbs because the limbs are the bits we add in. But we're going to have the body and the head ready that we just need to stuff with our, our, um, our um, stuffing. Yeah. Now, you'll, you'll see that this, you get these two big wadges of stuffing. And I'll, I'll show you, when you open them up, they just sort of expand. This is the amount of stuffing that we say that you need um, to create your animal. So actually, one of those, possibly a little bit more, will be sufficient to, to do the body. You will think you won't need enough, but you want your, your animal to be nicely squishy. You want him to be able to be, be squished without feeling like he's Oh, no, if you fill him too much, he's going to be too hard. Um, and if you don't fill him enough, he won't be squishy enough. You want him to be able to be cuddled uh, and loved. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, that should be dry now. So I'm going to stitch around the outside. Unless there's any questions you want to ask me? Um, so, you know, it seems really well in the fact of kind of when we've been chatting, when you've been demoing, you've kind of covered a lot of the questions oh, that good. have come on early on. We do have one from Tammy, which is a good, uh, good question for someone that doesn't have a sewing machine. Becky is yep. saying, I don't of a sewing machine which would be a good sewing machine for beginners any recommendations don't spend loads of money okay would okay. be my would be my recommendation you do not need a fancy machine that has hundreds of different stitches you will never use them you will never use them you want something that does a straight stitch and a zigzag that's it that's don't it. need anything else um it, it's, it's it's pointless i you i mean it's not pointless. They're lovely to have. They're mm -hmm. really, really nice to have. Those really pretty designs, pretty stitches that you have. But I would, if you asked 100 sewers what stitch they use, they just use a normal straight a stitch. Normal one, they yeah. don't, and a success stitch to finish it off. I would look, especially now coming up to um, Christmas, I'd look at department stores. Quite often, you used to be able to go to department stores and have a play about with them. If you have the opportunity to go to a show, if you're in the UK, there is the Knitting and Stitching Show in Harrogate in November. Um, in, uh, actually, I think this you just missed last well last weekend was the knitting and stitching show in alexandra palace but if you can get the one in harrogate or any kind of stitching shows they often have um sew machine manufacturers and you can have a little bit of a play with the machine do not be coerced in spending a thousand pounds on your first sewing machine you do not need it you just need a simple machine i would look at department stores if you're in the uk somewhere like john lewis and uh, you'd be able to get a good one but quite often and i have to say i bought one for my daughter that came free with a subscription to a sewing magazine okay. and I know I could buy it for 99 pounds wow um, she took it to university and she sewed most of her clothes and her friends clothes and her friends costumes for their drama performances on this 99 pound machine 
awesome. You don't need anything no, super fancy. No. If you're doing something really heavy duty, if you're sewing things like curtains, for example, they're heavy, they're thick, you need a good, good quality machine. If you're going to be doing lots of quilting, you need a, a machine that does other things. If you want to have a go at making things like this, you just need a simple basic machine. Don't waste loads of money. Spend it, get a, a decent you know, machine that's got a good review, um, that does a good straight stitch, you know, and, and it's quite reliable. Um, don't try and, try and go for something that doesn't have a computer on it, that just has perhaps a dial because there's less things for it to go wrong. Um, and then as you progress, then that's the time to spend more money on a machine. Awesome. Thank you for that one. I know a lot of people will, will appreciate that one, Becky, and you were saying when it comes to the sewing machines. So thank you. I think no that's sewing machine manufacturer is going to give me a job now, are they? <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but it's good though. Why, as you said, you know, why spend a fortune if you're not going to go down that road of you know thicker things such as curtains you know quilts etc etc you're going to do something like this dabble in something like this it's maybe just that starting point isn't it you're just starting yeah. off and then down the line whether it's a year down the line two years down the line then you may look to progress if you know at that point you want to do your thicker projects so uh, yeah perfect i know a lot of people will appreciate that one becky Lovely. Right now we've got um, we've got our, our body ready. Um, so this bit, I'm just going to make sure I've got him around the right way. I want to make sure the tummy's in the right place. So that is my back here. So I want to get my bunny bunny body, bunny head inside the bunny body. Um, and we want right sides together. So I'm going to stuff. This just sounds so wrong. I'm going to stuff my bunny's head mm -hmm. inside its bun, inside its body, like that. It's going inside. It's the end result, isn't it? It is. Hopefully it'll come round the right way. There won't be people going, no, Becky, you've done it round the wrong way. Oh, this is always a little bit, this bit's a bit fiddly. Hold on a second. Let's get, you, let's get my head right. Right. That's the, way I, that's the way I want to do it. So that's my back. Mm -hmm. So let's put that through like that and I can hold on to his ears. So this is the, the other bit, which I said is probably the fiddlier bit to do. So you, what I would suggest you do is you don't do this on live TV. Uh, you go in a nice quiet place. You just spend a little time doing this. Um, and you don't put yourself under any pressure to do this. Like live TV. Do as I say, not as I mm -hmm. do. All right. And now we just want to get open up the, the rabbit's neck. And we want to line up that neck with that opening in the body. If you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm just getting that all in the right place. And what I want to do is I want to stitch around here. You can stitch by hand. You can, it might be easier if you're not very adept at using your sewing machine. You might find it's easier to sew, show, sew, show, sew by hand. But guess what I'm gonna do to secure it? What's that? Glue. A bit of glue. So a little bit of glue around here just to hold it all in place. Like just that. to say that to Sherry, so I can't show you the erasable fabric pens with the template library tonight. We've only got about half an hour to go. However, if you go back to the last show that I had the original template library on, I used it with them. But it is literally just as if you're using a pen or pencil when it comes to your templates. Draw around it onto your cardstock. I cut it out, then I just go lightly with my heat tool over the top and it just erases all of the lines. But I did do it on the last show, maybe about a week and a half or so ago. You can go back to. Right, I'm gonna stitch now with my sewing machine. Um, I, I don't know if we're going for a break while I stitch around the edge. But we can I'm gonna, do. Well, I'll just wait while I do this a little bit. Um, now, we say quarter of an inch seam allowance with this. I'd make it a little bit bigger just because you want to stitch around all of this bit. It's just going to take me a little bit of time to do it um, because you just want to be a little bit careful when you're stitching, but you could do, also do this by hand. Got you. So I'll do Lock that now. Perfect. Thank you for that one, Becky. So, yeah, what we'll do is we'll give you another opportunity because I know a lot of you, again, it seems to go in sections. Every half hour sections you sit with, well, today it's been the showstopper in your basket, and then it's like, right, we'll go to that break, and, of course, that gives you the opportunity to check out, which is exactly what we're going to be doing. You're, of course, going to be checking out onto our website, .co.uk or .eu. Before you go anywhere near your basket, you do need to log in, of course. If you have had any issues or you just want a little bit of a recap as to how to log in to our brand new website, here's the main man himself to, uh, well, give you a little bit of inside knowledge. Hi, I'm Ben from Crafters TV. As you may know, we've just launched an amazing new website. Our new home of paper craft, 
has all of your crafty needs. And as we've had a bit of a makeover, I'm here today to help you log into your account on our brand new site. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Go to the Crafters Companion homepage. Make sure to select the correct location at the top of the page. Go to the My Crafters icon on the top right of your screen. Next, enter your email address. Then, enter your password. Click the Sign In button. You should now be logged into your account and taken to your My Crafters page. When you're ready to log out, go to the left hand side of the page and click the Log Out button in the My Account box. When you're logged out, you'll be taken back to the Crafters Companion page. And it's as easy as that. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. Pokey tools and paper pads, gilding, wax and stamping mats, scissors, glitter, builder blocks, faux snow fabric, rocker blocks, Brea's misters, quilting clips, and diapers, tools, precision snips, finger daubers, acetates, stencils, glue guns, and templates. Gemini Pro, Julia and the OG, Gemini Go, Mini and the Midi, Triblend brush pens, aqua pens and aqua blends, illustrators, classics and tri blends, and color blends, and glitter pens, and sparkle pens, outliner pens. Fine tip glue applicators, envelope box creators, stamping platforms, box of boards, the big score and scoreboard. Nina card and craft card, glitter card, my flat card, craft kits, wadding and adhesive sheets, glass mats, guillotines and pen trays, ball tool dice and zinc trays, mitre tools and binding tools and toe bugs, USBs, bone folders and punches, low tap tape and brushes, stamens, mailboard, flower forming foam. Alpine markers, DVDs, felt quick triton pads and CDs, gilding flakes and washi tape, tacky glue, red liner tape, craft mask for press, sparkle pots, centura pan and sticky dots, pigment ink pads, chunky glue, buddy bags, all purpose glue, embossing folders, blending tools, storage folders, much more too. Water reactive ink pads, buddy bags, craft magnets, gear of craft and glue, stick, stick and spray and stick away. Dotty tape and split pens, acrylic paint pens, tape pens, watercolor card, rotary cutters, magazines and stamping card, ultimate Pro and the rotating design board. Alter, but first, bump, then, yum, Sarah, signature collections. And don't forget Discovery Kids. Oh, and there's foam pads. Think that's it. One final thing foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Not long till. Something new drops on Monday. What? What's dropping on Monday? It's dropping like it's hot. Dropping, dropping like it's hot. hot. Dropping like dropping it's hot. Like it's hot. What is it? Is it? Is it chocolate? It's a hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. It's hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. I believe in miracles. Y yeah. Yeah. No. Maybe. Maybe. I'm do you know what I'm actually just doing? Because I'm, I'm now questioning myself. I'm sure Ben said something. Uh, Ben's mind yes. is all hot chocolate. Is so, that what you said? On Monday, yeah. a brand new song from Ben will Ooh. drop. So I was just checking Am his. I in it? Um, have you not seen it? No. You, 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 did you just not get the email the other day from the team? No. I don't get emailed. Do you not get emails? No. It's an absolute cracker. This oh. guy has just outdone himself. Which guy? The Ben guy? Ben, the Ben, ben guy. guy. The oh. Ben guy. So, yeah, so that's going to be dropping, of course, on Ben's social. It's going to be dropping on all of Crafters Companion social. And no doubt we'll be sharing it all once we, uh, well, as I say, once it's actually out there on social. So that's going to be on Monday, the brand new 2023 birthday song from Ben is going to be dropping. But very quickly, before we go back to you, Becky, just a couple of other questions here just to fire across. Nefertiti is saying, Becky, is there a way to add padding or something to the dragon wings to make 
if that makes sense. Yes, I think you could. So um, looking at the dragon wings, they are two pieces of fabric. Now I would suggest, I would put, you could even, you could even put like pipe cleaners in here um, in line so they look like the um, well, that's pieces a good idea. Of, so they actually bend. Uh -huh. So you've got, yeah, you've got two pieces of fabric which are, are, are put together. You could put a piece of a foam in there. Mm -hmm. um, there's all sorts of things you could do with that. Um, I really like the idea of having, um, using some sequins on this, some of that sequin fabric we had yesterday show, that, that stuff that, you know, goes one colour one way and one colour another. Um, yeah, you can absolutely do that. It, it's, two, it's two layers of fabric. This one's got a little bit of interfacing in it to give it a bit of structure, um, so it's a little bit more rigid than the other ones. Um, but yeah, definitely, I would, you know, pipe cleaners and then stitch along them to create like almost like veins in the wings. Yeah, that's All really cool. Things. Yeah, Love exciting. that. Um, I know we can check the website, but I'll just ask while it's been asked, Becky, do we do pink and shears on our website? I don't think we do, you know. No, nope. Another, another thing for the list on, uh, for Leanne. Um, Leanne and I were going to have a meeting a few weeks ago um, to talk about all the things that I had ideas for mm -hmm. and we've just run out of time with right, birthday yeah. coming up um, but I think everyone's got loads of ideas for Leanne so yeah that pinky shoes will be something that I suggest definitely Perfect. they're worth having but you know you, you'll be able to pick, pick up decent ones don't get I mean they, these aren't massively expensive but they're not the cheapest ones um, they when they get really cheap they get really really stiff to use and you mm -hmm. want them to cut nicely Perfect, thank you for that one. And then just to say as well, I know there's been a lot of chat about different sewing machines, the best of the sewing machines. What I would say, of course, of course, we don't want to thing you down the show, we're talking about all different sewing machines. So if you want to see or know what sewing machine does what, what's going to be best, just go into Google, go into Yahoo, just go into all of these search engines and just see the best one for the best job. So uh, I would do that when it comes to sewing machines. But Becky, we have got just under 25 minutes left of okay. the show, so I'll let you carry on. Right, OK, so what I did in the break is I... You know, I pop, popped the head inside the body and then I stitched around the outside. That one's a bit tricky because you can see it's only a very small piece that you're stitching. So you just stitch a couple of stitches and you just keep on turning everything around. Now is the time to see if I've done it around the right way. Um, so we obviously had right size facing. We're just going to turn this out. Hopefully it will work. And so what we will find is we have the rabbit head attached to the rabbit body. There you go. That looks all right to me. And then we just need to do some stuffing. Um, so we're going to use some of this. Um, so you get two packs of the stuffing in here. You will notice as soon as I take out the packaging, well, look at that. It's enormous. Um, there's loads of it in here. Um, absolutely tons. So we're just going to stuff this in here. Um, I'm going to show you roughly how to do it. But you can see um, you know, what we've done before. Um, all I'm going to do, actually, is just going to stuff his head to see if um, how it looks. Um, because obviously, we can create different kinds of features by having different, um, diff a different amount of stuffing in different places on his head. So we're just going to be using this. So this is um, a polyester, a synthetic um, kind of um, animal stuffing um, which is the type of animal stuffing I would tend to use it holds its shape really well um, you don't have um, sometimes with sort of cotton um, and other bits and pieces they can go a bit lumpy and um, this tends to stay nice and um, fluffy um, even if it has to um, be washed now um, I would say be careful you're going to put this in the washing machine mm, I've been inclined to say don't um, I would want to use this um, and put it together um, and, and clean it, spot clean it with a sponge if it does get grubby, if you're giving it to a child. Um, probably not the best thing to go in the washing machine. You can give it a try, but I would, I'd be inclined not to say that. So I'm just going to put that in there. Um, we want to just stuff his little face a little bit more. Um, so to, because of that, I'm going to use um, my pen just to push the stuffing in that place up there. There you go. And then we'll put a little bit more stuffing into his body. But you can see how it's beginning to form that shape. And then all we need to do is sew up the little gap um, in the body um, that we've got here. And then put the limbs on the teddy. Um, whether it's a teddy or a rabbit, it's exactly, done exactly the same way. So you put the limbs together with those little buttons and they create those little joints. Um, for it. So different way to the rag dolls. If you've already purchased the rag dolls and um, they don't have limbs as such, they have um, sort of loose joints. There we go. 
So you can see how that's beginning to look now. Um, so I don't need to do any more on that, but you can see mm -hmm. how that's beginning to look. So you need to, I would spend a little bit of time just making sure, like his nose isn't fully, his nose is not fully stuffed. Um, you want to make sure you've got plenty of stuffing in his nose. Um, so we just move that down. I'm just using my heat erasable pen to put that stuffing in the right place. Move that little nose piece down there. You see, now it's beginning to form oh, that shape a little bit better. So really easy to do and put them together. You know, he looks quite cute. Um, he can look a little bit sad when he's, um, his um, bunny ears are flopping down. But if you pop them back, he looks quite happy. And again, if you wanted to put some, um, something in them to make it, it stand upright, you could do that. He looks a little bit of like a windswept bunny now. Um, but that, I think he looks quite cute. And again, just cute. pop him in exactly the same way. Really, really easy to put together. And then once you've finished your animal it will look like this gorgeous look at that and you fill in the ears if they've put a little bit of interfacing in those um, so interfacing doesn't come a standard interfacing it just gives it a little bit more structure um, so you see his his ears sort of hold themselves up a little bit more because um, they've got a bit more structure in them but gorgeous, really cute little thing, isn't it? Really, really cute. Really, really cute. And imagine that, imagine the gifts of that could be if it's for a new baby, you know, if you're doing it within the baby fabrics afterwards, of course, because you can then, of course, use the fabric you've got, but as me and Becky were saying, why not, of course, then uh, maybe start to trace them. Can do if you want to. And then, of course, just use your own fabric. Could be some of your thinner fabrics if you've got from maybe old clothing or something. I know Becky talked about that earlier on in the day where, uh, you know, depending on the fabric that you're going to be using, you don't want anything too thick. But of course, you can have some fun patchwork with some old shirts or something. But that is from your Showstopper collection. Showstopper collection, $69.95 or $88.75. You've got a platinum price of $55.96 or $71. So when it comes to that show, stopper you're going to be getting all of these templates so you're going to get the template for you to then be making your lion which over wake up call and launch day Becky had showed you you know a different components that they will then make up a full lion you've then also got your dragon you've then also got your elephant as well now not only you're going to go get those three you're going to be getting the teddy bear kit because you're going to be getting everything to be making one of your teddy bears that you can see just here now not only that you're going to be getting the bunny rabbit box that's going to give you the elements to make something like that or as becky's just been showing within this part of the second launch day show then on top of all of that you're going to be getting kind of like your accessory set so these are going to work really really well when it comes to the templates because you've got some buttons you've also got some eyes and then you've also then got your noses as well now they're your secure ones you're going to get your heat erasable pens so if you even do a little bit of paper craft or that good for that because just heat it up lightly with your heat tool and that's going to eliminate the lines you've got your snippy scissors and then you're also then going to be getting the clips so that set there it's worth around, well, it's around 25 pound 35 dollars that that sets there but when it comes to the combined price it works out you're getting all of that for a 10 or $10. $69.95 or $88.75 for all of that showstopper. $55.96 or $71 for you guys stateside. And if you are just tuning in within this show, being the first show of the day, this one and that bunny rabbit, up until last night, that was not included within the showstopper. So just as an extra birthday treat, the guys have popped that in. So this is where it's really making that, vi that value absolutely phenomenal absolutely phenomenal you're of course going to be getting your double points on top of that and because we're over that 50 pound 50 dollar mark you're going to get the die set and you're also of course going to get that silver crystal pen as well so that is a showstopper but what we're going to do is we're going to be having a look at our rag dolls so we're going to look at these ones here because this full set that you're going to get which is a best ever price and it's not been seen since October. Uh, this is October. It's not been seen since August. Now, I know it's only a couple of months, but still, it's not been seen since August. You're going to get the templates that are going to enable you to make the rag dolls. So you're going to get the templates to make the rag dolls, but then what you're also going to get is two additional template sets for the rag doll outfits too. 
and then you're also then going to get the Ragdoll Outfits 1. So all three of those are what you're going to be getting at the best ever price, not seen since August, $22.47 or $29.13. You've got a saving of 25%, just over 25%. And then you're going to get that at a platinum price of $17.98 or $23.30 with your double points and if that's all you go for today you'll get the little Gemini mini die set for free as well with the guys and girls in the warehouse I'll pop it into your order for you you don't need to do anything other than add it to your basket check it out any issues go back onto YouTube you can watch back 24 7 but you'll also be able to see that little video as well with Ben who's just giving you a recap of how to log in on a brand new website but when it comes to those dolls when it comes to the outfits Becky's going to be showing us which has got across at the other side. They're so cute. They are so cute. It makes you want to give them a big squidge. Um, so on here, you get the, the actual template for the dolls, whether they are male or female, or traditionally male or female. Um, it, the only difference is we've put extra hair on them. If I hold this hair up, you can see they're exactly the same shape. Even the hairline is the same. I've just given this one long hair. Um, but in the um, selection, you have two different types of outfits one more masculine one more feminine so in the in the masculine one you've got like t-shirts and shorts and trousers in the um the female one you've got a skirt blouse um dungarees which, which i think dungarees are universal um, but you've got the ability to make these costumes now um what i will do is i'm just going to open this up a little bit so i'm just going to slightly undress the doll because i want to show you <laughs> how <laughs> this is put it's a bit weird um so <laughs> show you how this joint is so when we were talking about those other animals though they've got like a, a joint in them so you can pose their arms effectively and um, you don't have that here you just have that joint that arm joint attached to the body um, which is a different way so this is no, no this is how ragdolls are they are kind of floppy um, whereas you've got with those other teddy bears and those other animals and um, you've got those joints in them so this is what we've got here um, so what I thought I would do is I do um, some um, dungarees out of some of the fabric that we've got on the show today um, so I'm going to be using this um, template here which is a Rag Dolls Templates um, Outfits number one in here so this one has got like a blouse with dungarees it's got a dress it's the dress can be converted into a blouse with a skirt you can have a longer skirt but you also have the shoes in there as well so it makes it really diverse and as I said before I think if you had some flower girls for a wedding or something rather than giving them flowers to carry perhaps you want to give them a little doll in the identical dress that they've been wearing um, all of these templates are very easy to use and um, if I open this up you will see how they are created so they are all on a piece of um, sort of plastic acetate mm -hmm. um, you've got all these little sections cut out of here and you just need to mark through um, to cut these out um, so what I'm going to do is I've already cut out the pieces for the dungarees but I want to cut out the um, facing and um, so I've got some of the fabric here that we've got on the show today and um, so this is this beautiful kind of French blue um, Lewis and Irene fabric um, I I cannot remember what they were all called, but I will fl quickly flick through them all so you can see them all in just a moment. Um, but they are beautiful fabrics. You can see all the details on them on the website. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to cut this here. Now, on this template, it shows you the dungaree facing. You want to fold along here. Um, so that's my fold that I've got here. I'm going to, going to turn this around this way because it's easier for me to see. And I'm placing my fold line a, on that fold mark here. Then I need to find that damn elusive pen. There it is. This is my um, heat erasable pen. I'm just going to mark through here uh, like this, like that with my heat erasable pen. And then I will pop a couple of pins in this to keep it all in the right place. And then I will cut around the edge. So with my scissors, just cutting. And this is the way I, I'll try it. If I'm cutting, I only need one of, do I need one of these or two of these? I need two of these. So I need to do another one in just a moment. But I'll show you how I'm gonna put that two together. Like that. Like that. It's one of those things as well, Becky, with templates, it takes up no space, does it? Yeah, that is a, that's a good thing, good, a good idea about that. So now we've got, um, that's our, um, that's our, um, facing our dungaree facing now i've already cut out the actual dungaree pieces which i've got here 
in this beautiful fabric. So I've got these two, we've got two of each size. So two from here and two here. And they're all going to go together. We're going to be stitched together. Um, but we're also going to use this interfacing, or this facing, which is going to go on the inside of everything here. So you can see how that's going to work. Did you want me to flick through the fabrics before I start sewing this? So show you everyone the fabrics? I'll show you in a minute then. Um, so I'm going to cut another one of these. I'm going to put those to one side. I just need another one of these. So I'm going to get my fabric again. I want to make sure I've got that fold um, on here. So let me just trim this piece of fabric away. I want to try and keep as much of this fabric as possible because I want to keep it for myself. Um, no, I don't. No, of course not. Of course not. But it's so pretty. This, these colours are gorgeous. I'd love it in a paper pad. Oh, oh yeah. But I often find that with fabrics. You look at fabrics and you think, oh, I'd love a paper pad like that. I know. Um, I've seen in the comments, certainly earlier on, because there was that many, unfortunately. can't always go through every single one, but there was quite a lot of people saying that they would love fabrics within the Wild at Heart paper pad. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I know I've seen lots of people saying they wish we had... Uh, we could, they could buy fabric in the grey and the purple um, flower. You oh, know yeah. that we had the totes, yes. tote bags yeah. out of. Yeah. Um, lots of people liking that as sort of curtaining. Um, I have to speak to Leanne about that. So again, on that fold, cutting through a couple of, or just a pin inside to keep everything together. So we're cutting through two layers of fabric, like that. I'm going to keep all those scraps. All these pieces will be quite useful for me to have at a later date. And then I've got that one now. Okay, so we've got all our pieces ready cut out. Now, in our little booklet, we give you step-by-step -step instructions as to how to put this all together. We tell you how many of everything you need. So, say, for example, on the dungarees, we need two out of the outer fabric, um, well, four in outer fabric. We need um, one out of lining fabric for the pocket. We need um, some outer fabric for the straps, and we need some lining fabric for the interfacing. I'm doing everything out of the same fabric here, so I haven't done my little um, straps yet, but um, I'm going to show you how to put everything together. Um, so, we're going to start off by taking our pieces, our two pieces of our dungarees, put them like that together and we are going to sew along this line here. So we're going to follow this direction and we're going to do the same with both of those dungaree pieces. So probably not going to have time to make the whole thing mm -hmm. but we've certainly got enough time to show you how it's going to come together. Oh, that and I just good. think that is really, you no, know, it's a really cute thing to have these little dungarees be able to make costumes for your little rag dolls and um, maybe mimic all the costumes or clothing that your, ch your child or your grandchild has, um, which is really nice, especially if there's something for a special occasion. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to stitch around here, quarter of an inch seam allowance. Let's go back and forth at the beginning of the end of your stitching. Okay, we've got that first piece and then we'll do this one. Again, we're stitching along this bit here. I remember the last, I think it was the last time we were, when we'd done a full day together, Becky, yeah. you kind of were giving me hints and tips with the sewing machine. We were doing a little bit of sewing. We'd done like we did do some sewing, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we definitely did. Now, when we were talking about um, curves again, um, it, it follows the same rule. Whenever you've got a curve, you want to get rid of as much of the excess fabric as possible, okay. or you want to clip into the curves. So I'm going to clip into the curves here. Again, you can use your pinking shears, we'll clip into the curves on this one here. I'm going to give it a bit of a press as well. Around here. Just while Becky's doing that, just to let you know, so tomorrow we've got Wake Up Call. Yeah, it's Sunday, but Wake Up Call's going to be in the first show with Ben and Sarah. Then it's launch day, launch day with our brand new Ultimate Papers. Just in our warehouse. That new, that I haven't even got them just yet. So that's going to be launching tomorrow with Ben and Sarah in that middle show. And then they're going to be back with a second chance Sunday. This is week one birthday wrap-up.
So that's going to be a cracking one to be seeing. So if you did miss any of the deals throughout the week or you want another look at what you've already bought, then do make sure you tune in to Ben and Sarah all day tomorrow. You've got, Sh you've got Johnny and you've got Charlotte in tomorrow. So you've got them. And I'm not sure who's When are you next tomorrow. back? Are we next in, Ben? Um, are we next in, Craig? Sorry, Becky. When are you next in? Uh, I am. So I'm in. I'm in quite a bit this week, actually. So I'm in. I'll probably be popping up and wake up call on Monday. Yeah. And then I'm going to be on Monday Makers with Leanne, myself and Leanne. Yeah. So Ben's. He's doing the first two shows, and then Leanne's presenting the last, and I'll be demonstrating in that last show. We. I am in all day Tuesday with Ben because I've got a brand new launch. Oh which is something to do with... Actually, I'm not going to tell you. Oh. No. OK. I'm not going to tell you just yet. I'm going to let you uh, enjoy tomorrow when it comes to the launch that is tomorrow. Although, what is launching tomorrow, you'll be able to l use what I've got on Tuesday. And then I think I'm in... Th I want to say I'm in Thursday. I love the fact that you don't know either. I can no. never remember. I am... Um... I'm, I'm in Wednesday, QVC yeah. UK, and then Beautiful Beginnings. And then I'm Hobby Maker on Friday in the UK. And then I'm back next uh, Saturday, myself and myself. And if, so Dean's just saying in my ear, you're in Tuesday, you're in Tuesday night. Yes, yes, Dean, I've just explained. I'm in all day on Tuesday with a brand <laughs> new launch that I'm not going to tell you just yet what it is. That's Tuesday, but when I will be back. When you're in? When am I in? When you're in, when you're in. I'm not, I'm not in on Tuesday. <laughs> you're not in on Tuesday. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'm back next Saturday as well with Sarah. Myself and Sarah on Saturday and then Ben and Leanne on the Sunday. Fantastic. I think he is on on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> just to say, I have got a name that I'm going to pop in the glitter ball just in a wee moment. Oh, yeah. OK. So I'm, I'm not going to be able to do much more of this, but I want to show you what I've done so far. So we've had these two pieces like this. We've just stitched them together. So this forms the front of my dungas. And then we've got the same to create the back of your dungas. Now, what you want, also want to do is you want to create some little straps that you're going to pop on here. Um, and then we will we'll attach them in this middle part here. This is your interfacing or your facing for your um, dungas. We'll pop that over the top. We've got these straps down here, stitch around here. So when, when we fold them out, it means you've got effectively like a lining um, around the edge of your dungarees. And then you just be a question of stitching the two sides together and then stitching the, the, main, part, the main part of this together. And then if I just try, try and grab a pair of dungarees so you can see what they would look oh, like look. once they're finished, this is how they look. So you, you can see how they will look now um, when you create those dungarees. But you can make them out of any fabric, really quick and easy to create. Obviously, not as quick as it, I'd like it to be because I can't make them in five no. minutes. Um, they do need a little bit of pressing, is all I would say. Um, and you can use you know, some snap fasteners to put them on to here, or you could use a little button or something like that. Um, but really quick and easy to do. And you can see how they're made, um, these little dungarees, with some of that beautiful new fabric that we've got on the show. Awesome. Thank you for that one, Becky. Uh, just really, really quickly, if you want to get your hands on these ones, 22.47 or 29.13, you've got a saving of over 25%, and it's the best ever price when it comes to these. These ones being a rag dolls, where you're going to be getting your rag dolls. You're also then going to be getting, so there's your rag dolls. There is then your template one and also your template to platinum price, $17.98 or $23.30, with, of course, your double point. Just to say, if you do want to know what I'm launching on Tuesday, go and check out the booklet across on all of our social platforms. That tells you exactly what I'm going to be launching. I'm just teasing you by not telling you. But it's all there in the booklet for you to download and have a look. But right, before we wrap up for the day, we need to, of course, announce another name that's going to go into the disco ball that may win £300 to spend on Crafter's Companion, where one lucky name will be drawn out of the main draw next Sunday with Ben and Leanne. And when it comes to this live show, the name going in is Joanne Madigan. You comment from YouTube. So you, Joanne, are going in there. So make sure you're tuning in all Sunday next week. Make sure you're tuning in all day this week if you can do. But to see one lucky name being drawn out of that disco ball. Still loads of other chances every single live show all the way up. 
to our wrap up next Sunday. You can be in with a chance just by comment. And no, let's not forget as well, every single day you've got a brand new free gift when you spend £10, ten dollars. You're going to get another colour pen when you spend 50. You're going to get that jute bag as well if you spend 100. Double points, of course. It's just an epic, epic way. Becky, you absolute legend. I always love working with you. Oh, it's so much fun. It's been great. It's been such a nice time to work with you. It has. Lovely when you're back. Break. When you're back. Um, not until the end of the month, I think 27th, 28th, something like that. Okie doke. Yep, got a few, 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 few times at home. A few times at home. Yeah. Yeah, no messaging me those funny TikTok messages that you send me now, Becky. That's all we do, Craig. That is all Let's that be we honest, do. That's it's all, all we do. do. Uh, great big thank you to Rachel and Susie, of course, James outside as well, Dean, of course, and then, of course, you've then got Charlotte too. Charlotte's going to be back tomorrow. It's Liam that's going to be flowing tomorrow. Liam is going to be in Florence. So we've got a brand new day coming your way where we're going to be kickstarting day number seven of our birthday celebrations here at Crafters TV. I will see you on Monday. Bye.